you go to the big box store to get an outlet for your DIY electrical project, and there are dozens to choose from. How do you make the right decision? It's Dave from Upgrade Your Home DIY, and it can feel overwhelming walking into the electrical aisle at your local big box home improvement store. In this video, I'm going to share five mistakes DIYers might not realize they're making when buying an outlet in the big box store. This will help you make the right decision in the aisle, and you won't have to go back to return an outlet to get the correct one that you really wanted. Mistake number one is not selecting a GFCI outlet when that outlet is close to a water supply in a kitchen, a bathroom, or that outlet is going to be installed outdoors. Whenever water may get close to an outlet, electrical code says you must use a GFCI outlet. Safety is number one when it comes to your electrical system. And by selecting a GFCI outlet for these locations, you will protect your family and your home. Mistake number two is ending up with a weather resistant industrial outlet or, or some other type of outlet that isn't the one you really wanted. Now this can happen when you just grab an outlet out of the box at the store. See, you don't know what somebody else tossed back in and you might end up with an outlet that wasn't the one that you thought you were getting. A good practice when you're pulling an outlet out of the box at the store is to match the UPC code on the outlet to the UPC code on the shelf for that item. This one was in the wrong box. This one did match and was the one I was expecting to be getting. Mistake number three is not selecting a tamper resistant outlet for any outlet that is less than four feet from the floor. Now I know some people don't like tamper resistant outlets because it's a little harder to get the plug in and they are a little more expensive. The purpose of a tamper resistant outlet is that it prevents objects from being stuck into that outlet and possibly causing somebody harm. This is especially important when children who are curious are around. In some areas, tamper resistant outlets are now required by code. Even if it isn't required in your area, I recommend you install these tamper resistant outlets in your home, especially if you're going to have any children or grandchildren around. Mistake number four is choosing a 15 amp outlet when a 20 amp outlet would be better. If you have a 20 amp circuit in your kitchen where the circuit breaker and the wiring support 20 amps, then it's better to get a 20 amp outlet instead of the regular 15 amp outlet. You can tell it's a 20 amp outlet by the horizontal slot on the left slot on the outlet. Now these outlets can be used with all normal appliances and they offer the protection of fully supporting a 20 amp circuit with that 20 amp outlet. Mistake number five is not picking up the matching cover plate when you're buying the outlet. I can't tell you how many times I've had to go back to the store because I forgot to pick up the cover plate when I was buying the outlet. Now you might have the cover plate left over from the previous outlet. You know, I always think a brand new outlet looks better with a brand new cover plate. Avoid these five mistakes and you'll be more confident buying an outlet for your next DIY electrical project in the big box store electrical aisle. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button so other homeowners who want to tackle DIY electrical projects can find this video. If you enjoyed the information in this video, here are some other videos I think you'll find helpful. Subscribe to the channel so you get notified when I publish new videos. Thanks for watching.